Oh yeah. Oh lady. Oh lady swag. Oh lady swag. You Superman that ho! Superman that ho! Superman Oh dear God, I'm going to hell. Welcome back everybody to the Slide Cooper HD Collection and Alex if you make fun of my intro I'm going to have a squirrel decapitate you. Anyway, I bought the, the um, I think it was the hover pack for Bentley and that gave me a trophy called Oh My God, a Flying Turtle. So that's one of the trophies in the game. It's not really that hard because you're in them buying stuff anyway. I just thought I'd mention it. So now we have to head to the Aces semifinals. Now let's get over here and look. We got one of these goat thingies that are on steroids. Let's rob this dude blind. Let's go. I still got 300 coins. I Oh my god! Yeah! Look at that! If he laser shoots me, I'm going to rage. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semi finals. Stay sharp, Sly! Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered! Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great! Yeah, Mom, I could use some of my own. God! So this is gonna be an all-out dogfight, pretty much, in the sky, and we're one versus, like, a hundred. So, we gotta kill 25 of them. I have turbos and stuff like that, but I can also do a barrel roll. Barrel roll! Whoa, whoa! Last man standing, let's do it. Okay. So remember, it was Belgium versus Iceland, and we're pretty, we frame on um, both of them, so they're attacking each other while I'm just running around doing a little. Extravaganza and attacking them as they're running away. I'm out of bullets. If you took this, you died for that because you're trying to troll me. Okay, you're out of commission. Only like 16 more. Some of these guys have like a double layered plane, and then some of these guys don't. Out of the way. Look at that aim, that was perfect accuracy. I wish I had rocket launchers on this thing though. Am I hitting him? Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 they're coming for me. And I got something in my eye the moment that happened. Ah, oh, I, I, I can't really explain the fail. Oh, my eye. Oh, collide! Oh man, I thought I was gonna get some kind of super impact. Yeah, that's right. Don't mess with me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna get teabagged in the midair. That's gonna be the worst thing ever. Come on, come on, get dropped. Get dropped! Out of my plane! I should do some sick stuff for the last one. Five more. Where are you guys at? Or as Alex would say, five guys. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Turbo my way over here. We got this guy. Hey. Someone's behind me. I hear it. Damn, the skies are empty. Oh, there you go. I saw something over there. Come on, where's the last two? Oh, there you go. Thank you for showing up. Thank you. Thank you. You all die now. We are going to Le Finals. Oh, he's the greatest. Anyway. Thanks to Sly's flying, we're officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugs 
Bloodshot and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Bugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you whine and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the fight. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of limp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. Alright team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll be more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. You mean prime meat for you, Bentley? <laughs> anyway, we got a bunch of missions we have to do, and I think I'm going to complete all of them in this episode. So, Bentley has a mission. Where's my cash money at? Oh, we need this. We need the grapple cam, but uh, we're going to save up for that. Holland Operation Day Number 2. So, as you guys can see how the tables have turned, only only two missions, but still. Beauty and the Beast, or Giant Wolf Massacre, I'm gonna go for Giant Wolf Massacre because it's really, really cool. What the hell? Did I just get flashbacked over there? Okay, I got my triple hover pack ready. Oh, why? I'm just gonna rain down upon Terra. Look at this, you can just fly right up to the uh, to the roofs. This makes Bentley a really, really good character now. I guess you could say. I wish my adrenaline burst. So see, he's fast and he can jump high. But he can't loot fast, so it's not the same. Look at this, troll. Aha! A perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the Guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself, by channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the finals. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on, this plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. Alright, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh, well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters meters quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the monocucom after i put the wolf to sleep it'll be up to you thanks guru you always know just what to say i love how sucker punch trolled the crap out of us Ha 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 You always know what to say! So let's get up next to him. We're gonna have to shoot him three times, I believe. Right in the head. No impact. Get within a what? few meters behind the wolf, then fire. Otherwise, the darts just bounce off. Too far away. You'll need You're to kidding me! Ah. Four shots on this guy. Your dart was 
out of range. Oh, oh, whoa, ah, pimp smack. He does 50% of my HP. Oh, you'll have to get closer for oh shot. my god. Stop attacking, I need you. I need to hit you right now. Ah. No. No. Run! Nice one, Bentley. Oh. That's right. Accept what happened. You were too far away. No, I was not. That was bull. That was bull. It was a night before Bulmus. I didn't even have any reaction time. Oh, you see how close you have to get? This isn't even fair. Do I have? I have to do it all over. Oh my god. I got him done to three out of four hits, but. Are you serious, this redneck bunny? Come on, one more. Yes! Nice work, big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. So we get to take over this badass wolf that was kicking my butt for like a good hour or so. Let's get on to this guy, and now we can reap havoc. So we have to kill all these guards. Let's do this. Yeah! Yeah! So we have to kill like 16? Or is it 20? I think it's 20. We get some cash. Hey! Hi. Hello. Hello. I have a wolf, and you do not. Oh man, this one's right next to the water. This one's trolling me too. Sweet. So you can pretty much run around without having to crash into anything with this guy. Okay, never mind. He was pretty much tanking everything, so I don't really understand. Oh, where are you running to, dude? You're a guard. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be protecting things. Okay, we get all these coins everywhere, and we got this guy up here. Ah. Yeah. Keep it up. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Your pilots. Let's just keep crashing through everything. Maybe they respawned in here. Let's check. Probably did. There we go. Hera! Just three more to go. Where are you running to? I am king of Mufasa. One more pilot, and it's a done deal. Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. Okay, so the job has been completed. Now we have two missions over here. We have Windmill, Firewall, and Beauty and the Beast. Let's do Windmill, Firewall since we're right here. Windmill. I said Windmill. Like you can eat a windmill. Turbo! There we go. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. So, you wouldn't be able to start this mission unless you had the extra out afterburner, just like if you wanted to use the alarm clock mission or the paraglider. So we can get up here, look how high we are, and hack. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Oh dear. Murray's going, I'm, 
Bentley's gonna infect you with all sorts of viruses, and I, I know exactly what sites he's gonna be doing. There we go. So, since this is a hacking mission, there isn't much... Uh, there isn't much I can pretty much tell you, just besides just do you what they're telling you. So I think I will cut ahead of each of these hacking missions after this one, because they're all the same. Besides maybe one that might have a firewall, but... Another falls before my digital kung fu! Hi -ya, cha -cha -cha. Oh, face palm Bentley. So I think it's just gonna be me cutting ahead of each one of these hacking missions unless I see something new. Because it's the same thing over and over and I don't think you guys want to see that. I think you guys would rather see some action rather than some QD boringness. So, uh, yes, yeah, you guys- Come, grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the master. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Excellent! Now for the aircraft control tower! Once it's hacked, the system will be mine! Alright, so now we have to head to the control tower. Let's get up here. Get Mount Bentley. Oh no! Ramps! Ah! Wow. You'll have to use your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Aha! My final opponent! Success! I've got total access! Wait, the, the code's unstable! Everything's speeding up! Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. This guy is someone you do not want to f with. Oh my god. Anyway, now to Beauty and the Beast. This is actually the final operation before, I believe it's called Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. And don't ask if I know that. Anyway, up here, we can't get up here, we have to follow the ward. Bye bye. It's time we dealt with Mugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True. True. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open, for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear ya. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into beating in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Bentley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Alright, so now we have my grandmother here entering the arena, and look who we've got here. And the music automatically drastically changed. Oh yeah, old lady, old lady swag, old lady swag, you! Superman that ho! Superman that ho! Superman, oh dear god, I'm going to hell. I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. Okay, 
I was gonna bait him into a fight. Maybe I should insult his record versus the Cooper gang, his breath, or his mental f faculties. Uh, his breath. My head is spitting from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. Poisonal space. His appearance? You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. His mother. Push the button! Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother! Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the Town Square. Man, I love these co-op missions. If only the game had co-op. Ah, Borderlands 2, you, you really changed my life with that co-op. Anyway, and a comic book uh, style. You can hide in these, if you guys didn't know this yet. And we can crawl around them and dodge the guards. But unfortunately, oh, he has something. Don't catch me this time. I've been failing so many times that I feel like I just need to come out here with Murray and power, power struck. Get out of my face. Whoa, oh. Oh man, she's right there. No, come on. Don't move so fast. There we go. Yeah! Kamalita Fox. Whoa. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? I feel like she twitched and shot me just earlier. Kill the pig! Take the pig! Oh crap, she mad! She mad! She didn't even take the pig. Uh, that was a good gift I left her. It was bacon. Here we go. Blast it, Sly! Why run? Why not face me like a real man? Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dice. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. 7 foot 3 inches, 324 pounds, wanted in 7 countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cob hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! This is what happens when you put two derps next to each other. You have one stupid derp that has no legs, and then you have the other derp that's like, I have justice, but no! Uh, well, I almost got hit there. Okay. I have justice, but no social interaction! She needs the D. She needs the D. Look at this. I'm gonna say I'm kicking his butt, but then again, I'm gonna end up getting shot, so I'm just gonna. Pay attention for now. Yeah! Huh! Like, Sly had so much trouble, but look at her. She's able to take him on like this. 
Not even a hit yet, really. I have a slight bit of damage on me. Okay, they're both tanks. I get it. This is why Sly needs a team, and these guys run solo. Mother? That you? I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Ugh, looking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. Carmelita Fox, you've done well. Here we go, guys. Digging up a bone? Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, cause it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. Alright, you guys heard the plan. If you guys want to see what happens, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. See you guys then. Also, remember to favorite and like the video if you guys enjoyed it, because it really helps me out. You guys know the drill by now. Um, Grapple Cam, we bought it. We good. See you guys then.